In Britain, a distressed woman drives her young son to the airport, hoping he'll depart the country swiftly. A terrifying virus epidemic grips many nations, with doctors unable to find a cure. Amid the chaos, people seek refuge beyond borders. Britain enforces quarantine measures, barring the infected from exiting to halt the disease's spread. Behind the wheel, the woman prays they'll permit her healthy son to board, aided by his father, an evacuation pilot. At the checkpoint, soldiers rigorously screen travelers. They uncover an infected individual concealed in a nearby car's trunk. Desperate, the woman offers a hefty sum to secure her son's passage. Aware she's ineligible due to a virus-induced tumor, she faces a soldier's pointed weapon. Pleading, she vouches for her son's health, urging his reunion with his father. As soldiers detain her, the boy flees towards the airport gates, hoping for passage. Yet, as he reaches them, the final evacuation plane departs, leaving him stranded. In the latest news update, it has been announced that further evacuations have been suspended. Those afflicted with the infection are advised to remain at home and refrain from attempting to depart the country. This highly contagious ailment remains without a cure, with its symptoms including high fever, skin darkening, nausea, and organ failure. Regrettably, the disease proves resistant to antibiotics, rendering any attempts to combat it futile, with no prospects of survival for those stranded. On the evacuation plane, 11 individuals are en route to Greenland, driven by rumors of its immunity from infection and purported development of a vaccine against the disease. The flight is manned by the primary pilot, Tobias, and his co-pilot, David, who harbors personal turmoil due to his son's denied entry to the airport. Accompanying them are flight attendants Craig, Kate, Eric, along with mechanic Larry. However, the escalating chaos on the ground prevents the plane from landing. Mid-flight, a distressing revelation emerges. Infected passengers have clandestinely boarded the aircraft. The duplicitous flight attendant, Eric, conducts an inspection of the crew and passengers, segregating the healthy individuals into the first-class cabin, among them Craig. Following this unsettling discovery, he contacts pilot Tobias, only to learn of the mysterious disappearance of co-pilot David. Flight attendant Eric proceeds with his inspection, discovering passenger Jess harboring characteristic growth signaling infection. In a violent outburst, Eric wields his baton, striking Jess and her healthy husband James, who valiantly defends his wife. Tragically, their teenage son is also afflicted. Mechanic Larry inadvertently contracts the infection upon contact with the boy, yet Eric remains oblivious to the transmission. Determined to isolate the infected in second class, Eric plans to land them on the ground to avert spreading the contagion to Greenland. Larry, desperate to halt the infection's advance, searches for a saw to sever his infected hand. Failing to locate one, he resorts to alcohol consumption as Craig and Kate sterilize tools, undertaking the grim task of amputating his infected limb. Despite Eric's skepticism, they press on with a procedure in an attempt to contain the spread. Eric remains adamant about removing Larry from the plane, intent on preventing further risk of contagion during the flight. We gotta get him off the plane, now, and the rest. We. Can't. Land. Abruptly, the aircraft plunges into a zone of turbulence. Tobias, grappling with the absence of a second pilot, urgently requires assistance. With David missing, the responsibility falls on Kate, who steps into the role after attentively absorbing the captain's directives. Together, they skillfully navigate through the turbulence, ultimately stabilizing the plane. In an unexpected turn, Craig stumbles upon David, standing near an open hatch. Tensions escalate as David accuses Tobias of hasty departure without his son, expressing his reluctance to evacuate without his family and David makes a fateful decision and leaps out of the plane. When Craig relays this heartbreaking incident to Tobias, the captain is devastated by the loss of his friend. Eric, seizing the opportunity, approaches the cockpit and urges Tobias to land the plane to eliminate the infected. However, Tobias adamantly opposes the idea, citing the impracticality of landing amidst the smoke-covered ground, where the deceased infected are being disposed of by fire. Even when pressed to eject the living, Tobias staunchly refuses, even if they are infected. Disgruntled, Eric departs without achieving his goal. Seated in David's vacated position, Kate discovers his wallet, adorned with a poignant photo of his wife and son. The revelation provides a poignant understanding of David's desperate choice, an act propelled by an overwhelming love for his family. Shortly thereafter, passengers spot another aircraft in the sky. Tobias establishes contact with its captain, Terry, whose flight originates from Australia en route to Greenland. Terry urgently needs to land, yet securing a safe landing spot in Europe proves challenging. Moreover, she voices her weariness at the solitary navigation and the absence of a co-pilot. 
Tobias extends a gracious suggestion. Given their ample food supplies and passenger capacity, he proposes that Terry identifies a secure landing spot, allowing them to proceed jointly on a single aircraft. Amicably, Terry agrees to the plan, humorously referring to their coordinated landing as a date. Meanwhile, on Tobias's aircraft, the previously incapacitated infected passengers regain consciousness following Eric's forceful actions. Among them, James rushes to the barricaded second-class cabin, seeking solace with his infected wife through the narrow opening. Despite James's resolve to be with her despite the risks, Jess implores him to prioritize his safety and continue living. The toll of the infection is evident, having already disfigured both Jess and their son. Learning of Tobias's plan to unite with Terry and land the plane, Eric deems it perilous and resolves to thwart it. He decides to disable the plane so that it crashes and the infection does not spread. Rick goes down to the technical compartment and breaks everything in sight. The resulting disruption causes momentary chaos as lights flicker and communication briefly falters, yet the crew swiftly restores order and functionality. Meanwhile, Terry successfully locates a secure airport and executes a smooth landing. To her relief, no infected individuals are present at the site as she eagerly anticipates Tobias's arrival with their joint landing. However, their reunion is interrupted by the sudden intrusion of a gang of armed infected individuals, intent on hijacking the Australian plane to journey to Greenland in search of a cure. Reacting swiftly, Terry draws her weapon and eliminates the gang leader before fortifying herself within the cockpit. Despite Tobias's attempts to reassure her, Terry, overwhelmed by fear of perpetuating the infection spread, implores him not to land. Convinced that her sacrifice could prevent further harm, Terry tearfully bids Tobias farewell before taking her own life. Meanwhile, Craig embarks on a quest to locate Eric and discovers him sabotaging the technical compartment. The ensuing damage triggers violent tremors throughout the plane. Despite Tobias and Kate's efforts to reignite the engines, urgent repairs are still required. Amidst the chaos, Craig sustains a blow to the head from a fire extinguisher, rendering him unconscious. Upon awakening, Craig grapples with a hazy recollection of Eric's actions. Kate, displaying empathy and patience, assists Craig in regaining his bearings amidst the confusion. During Craig's unconsciousness, Tobias manages to land the aircraft safely at an airport for crucial repairs and refueling. However, the surrounding landscape is engulfed in flames, signaling the proximity of infected individuals. Undeterred, the resilient mechanic Larry begins repairs as Craig and Kate resolve to secure fuel, determined to find fuel. Eric continues to push his line. He believes it's better to find supplies and shelter on the ground and not continue the journey. But Tobias shuts Eric up. You're not listening. Eric! If you're not going to help us, you're free to go. Tobias realizes that the infected will soon reach the plane, so he watches the movement at the airport through binoculars. Meanwhile, Eric undertakes the task of clearing the second-class cabin of infected passengers, dismantling the barricades. The teenage boy manages to evade capture, while Jess feigns immobility to avoid detection. Seizing an opportunity, Eric retreats onto the plane's wing as Jess unexpectedly launches a vicious attack. In a desperate bid for survival, Tobias retrieves a pistol, intending to neutralize Jess, only for James to intervene, shouldering the grim task himself to prevent further contagion. Elsewhere, Craig and Kate arrive at a warehouse in search of fuel, only to encounter a chilling sight, numerous infected individuals shrouded in black bags. Within the warehouse, a television broadcasts alarming news of the virus's relentless global spread, with outbreaks escalating across 27 new countries. Societal unrest burgeons as populations grapple with the unyielding crisis. Scientists point accusatory fingers at pharmaceutical companies and the uncontrolled use of antibiotics. Suddenly, an armed man materializes near the warehouse. He appears healthy yet inexplicably shoots in Kate and Craig's direction. With her hands raised, Kate proposes flying together to Greenland to pacify him. Despite striking Craig hard and attempting to harass Kate, the girl defends herself adeptly. As Craig lies unconscious, he recalls Eric as the saboteur of the plane. Urgently, they must return and alert Tobias of the traitor on board. Simultaneously, James embarks on a quest for fuel, accompanied by Eric, oblivious to his perilous nature. Discovering a tanker truck, they scheme to transport the fuel to the plane. Abruptly, Eric strikes James forcefully. He's willing to do anything to prevent the plane from flying further. Elsewhere in the airport, an infected individual lurks, surveilling the plane and transmitting critical information via radio to accomplices. They prepare to hijack the plane, intending to journey to Greenland in pursuit of the vaccine. Meanwhile, Craig and Kate return to the plane empty-handed, disclosing Eric's treachery to the entire crew and passengers, evoking horror. Shortly after, Eric himself appears at the plane. He fabricates a tale, alleging that infected individuals assaulted James, though everyone discerns the truth. Eric shouts about saving humanity and halting the infection spread, met with indifference as Tobias even brandishes a gun in response. Ultimately, Eric departs. The companions fortify themselves within the plane, awaiting Larry's repairs. Remaining at the airport is no longer tenable. 
Despite the absence of fuel, they contemplate departure, yet Larry struggles to complete the task. As evening descends, infected individuals draw near. Eric retrieves signal flares, igniting them from the airport roof to guide the infected, anticipating chaos and deterring departure to Greenland. Tobias discerns the infected crowd approaching the plane, alongside a tanker truck navigating the runway. James, now lucid, rushes to aid his comrades. However, the infected infiltrate the cockpit, claiming James's life despite Tobias's intervention, too late to spare him. Eric persists in launching signal flares, signaling an imminent onslaught by the next wave of infected. Tobias implores Craig to neutralize Eric and disarm the flares. Craig consents to the mission under the condition that Tobias refrains from departing without him. The captain assures Craig of his steadfast commitment to await his return. Larry comprehends the urgency of completing repairs before the impending attack of the infected. However, his deteriorating health necessitates intermittent breaks. Moreover, maneuvering repairs with just one hand proves challenging. Tobias and the sole surviving passenger, Kevin, undertake the task of refueling the plane. Meanwhile, a formidable army of infected assembles near the airport, soon to be augmented by hundreds of armed carriers of the infection. They have the same mission. We're taking the plane! As Craig struggles to reach Eric, the relentless launch of signal flares persists, offering clear guidance to the infected. Eric appears oblivious to the fact that his actions only heighten the infection's odds of reaching Greenland. Fortuitously, the plane nears completion of refueling, prompting Tobias to ready it for takeoff. He instructs Kate to illuminate the runway lights. Suddenly, the infected attack Kevin as he refuels the plane, overwhelming him. Tobias swiftly intervenes, confronting the infected on the runway. Their reluctance to harm Tobias, the sole capable pilot, becomes evident. Following a brief altercation, Tobias persuades the infected to yield, neutralizing the threat. Meanwhile, Craig eventually reaches Eric, managing to pacify him. Nonetheless, Eric eludes capture and erects barriers on the runway. Craig endeavors to dismantle the obstacles, ensuring the plane's departure, steadfast in his belief that Tobias will await his return. Kate activates the runway lights before rejoining the plane. Nearby lies Kevin, motionless alongside his wife, who opts to remain at the airport with her husband. Kate steps into the cockpit, discovering Tobias's resolve to take off without waiting for Craig, despite the latter's crucial role in dismantling the barricades. Consumed by her affection for Craig, she implores Tobias to delay departure for her beloved's return. However, Tobias remains resolute, unmoved even when Kate discloses David's tragic departure due to Tobias's callousness. In a desperate bid, Kate brandishes a gun at Tobias, pressing it against his temple. Tobias remains unperturbed, steadfastly advancing the levers. Kate pulls the trigger, only to find the gun empty. Tobias smirks, unswayed by the failed attempt, as Kate exits the cockpit. Meanwhile, Craig, unaware of being forsaken, hastens towards the plane. Unbeknownst to him, it soars overhead, leaving him stranded in despair. Seated on the grass, Craig cradles his head in his hands. Suddenly, Kate approaches him, abandoning the departing plane to stand by his side. With only Tobias and Larry aboard the receding aircraft, the pallid mechanic staggers into the cockpit, assessing his deteriorating condition as the virus spreads. Now, Tobias finds himself isolated on the plane with the encroaching threat of infection. What do you think is scarier, the virus or human cruelty? Share your opinion in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.